Hey guys, welcome back. In today's video, we will be talking about adding and editing metadata to your photos in Lightroom Classic. Now, metadata is information that is stored within your digital photos that describes various details about the photo, such as the date it was taken, camera settings, and other technical information. It's important to include metadata in your photos because it can provide valuable information about the photos, making them easier to organize, search, and manage. Metadata can also help protect your work by providing a way to track the ownership and usage rights of your photos. In Lightroom Classic, you can add and edit metadata information for your photos, including both EXIF metadata and IPTC metadata. EXIF metadata stands for Exchangeable Image File Format and is automatically generated by your camera. This type of metadata includes technical details about the photo, such as the camera model, exposure settings, focal length, and more. EXIF metadata can provide valuable information about how a photo was taken and can be useful when analyzing or processing the image. IPTC metadata stands for International Press Telecommunications Council and is metadata that you can add manually. IPTC metadata includes information such as the title, description, and keywords for the photo. You can also add copyright information, contact details, and usage restrictions to your photos using IPTC metadata. This information can be useful for organizing and managing your photos as well as protecting your intellectual property rights. The key difference between EXIF and IPTC metadata is that EXIF metadata is automatically generated by your camera while IPTC metadata is added manually by you. While EXIF metadata provides technical details about the photo, IPTC metadata provides descriptive information and can be used to organize, search, and manage your photos more effectively. By adding both types of metadata to your photos in Lightroom Classic, you can create a complete picture of your images and make them easier to work with. Adding and editing metadata in Lightroom Classic is a straightforward process. To add or edit metadata for a photo, first select the photo or group of photos that you want to work with in the library module. Then click on the metadata panel on the right hand side of the screen to access the metadata fields. In the metadata panel you can view and edit both EXIF and IPTC metadata for the selected photos. To add or edit IPTC metadata click on the appropriate field such as title, caption, or keywords and type in the desired information. So in this photo, I am going to add metadata in the title field, and we are going to call this Hollow Rock. And you can also add a caption. You can change the name of the file. And there's a multitude of other fields that we can add information to right over here. In addition to editing metadata for individual photos, you can also apply metadata to multiple photos at once using a metadata preset. This allows you to quickly add common metadata, such as your copyright information, to a group of photos in one step. So I would go ahead and select the photos that I want to add that information to. And up here where it says Preset, we can hit the drop-down box, and I will come and I will click on my 2023 Copyright Preset. And I have this set up to just add the copyright information into those photos with one click. So to create a preset, you want to click that drop down box and go down to edit presets. All right, so that will open up a dialog box. And in here you can go through each field and add the information that you need to add. When you're all done adding your information, come up to this preset drop down box and click on save current settings to a new preset. This will allow you to name your preset. You hit create and it will show up in your drop-down box over here. Now, one of the biggest benefits of using a metadata preset in Lightroom Classic is the ability to quickly apply standardized metadata to multiple photos. 
By creating a metadata preset, you can save time and ensure consistency in your metadata entries. Once you've created a metadata preset, you can apply it to one or multiple photos. To apply the preset to a single photo, select the photo in your library module, and then click on the drop-down menu in the metadata panel and select the desired metadata preset. To apply the preset to multiple photos, select the photo that you want to update, hold the Shift key, and click on the last photo that you want to update. And then you come over here to the preset drop-down box and you pick the preset that you want to add. Now, using metadata presets can save you time and effort when entering metadata for large batches of photos and can also help ensure consistency across your entire photo library. Additionally, metadata presets can be especially useful for photographers who work with clients or have specific metadata requirements for their work. Now, using metadata to organize and filter photos in Lightroom Classic can make it much easier to find specific photos in your library. By adding metadata such as keywords, ratings, and labels to your photos, you can quickly filter your library to show only the photos that meet certain criteria. To filter your library based on metadata, start by selecting the library module and navigating to the library filter bar at the top of the screen. From here, you can choose which metadata fields to filter by, such as keywords, ratings, or labels. Simply click on the desired field and select the specific values you want to filter by. So in here, I want to see all of the photos taken with my Pentax K1 camera. So this will show me everything that I took with that. Now I want to see all the photos taken with my Pentax K1 camera and my Pentax DA 35 millimeter lens. So I click on that and that narrows it down to just the photos that I used that specific camera and lens combination for. In addition to filtering your library, you can also use metadata to organize your photos into collections. Now, collections are virtual groups of photos that can be organized based on any metadata field, such as keywords or location. To create a collection, simply select the desired photos and click the plus icon next to the collections panel. Now, create a collection, give your collection a name, and choose which photos to include. So I'm going to name this Pentax K1 dash Pentax DA 35 millimeter. And we'll click create. And that'll put a new collection in my collections panel here. So now I make sure that I have the first photo selected. I come to the last one, hold the shift key, and click on the last photo, and simply drag them into that folder. So now I have a collection of six photos that were shot with the Pentax K1 camera and the Pentax DA 35mm lens. By using metadata to organize and filter your photos in Lightroom Classic, you can save time and make it easier to find the photos you need when you need them. Now, renaming photos is an important step for better organization and searchability of your photo library. By using descriptive file names that include relevant keywords and dates, you can quickly identify and find specific photos in your library. This is especially important if you have a large photo collection with many similar or duplicate photos. Renaming your photos can also make it easier to share and export them as well as reduce the risk of naming conflicts. Renaming photos in Lightroom Classic is a simple process that can be done using metadata and custom naming conventions. To rename photos, select the photos that you want to rename in the library module and choose Rename Photos from the Library menu or right-click menu. So we're going to go into our 2018 folder and we're going to expand that. So in this folder I have one photo of the Baptism River in 
the North Shore of Minnesota. So I'm going to come up here to the library menu, and I'm going to come down to rename photos. Now, if you notice, this says F2. That is our shortcut key to get to that menu item. So all you have to do is select the photo that you want to rename and hit F2. That'll bring up your naming dialog. Okay, so again, we have different presets that we can choose or we can create our own preset. So I'm going to come down to Edit, and this will open up our preset dialog. Now, this is a preset that I've already made, but that's fine. We're going to show you how to make this. So I'm going to delete everything out of that box. And the naming sequence that I like to use, I start with the year. So I will insert the date. Then I like to put a dash in between. So now I want to use a custom text. So I will insert that. And again, I will hit dash. Now, I like to add a sequence number to the end of my file name. And if we come in here and hit the drop-down box, you will see that there are several different options that we can use for that. I like to use the sequence with four digits. So I will insert that. So now this is telling me that I will have a date, a custom text that I input, and a sequence number for a file name. So this example says 2018-snakeriver-0001.dng, so that would be my new file name. So once you get to this point, click the drop-down box, come down to Save Current Settings as New Preset, and you name your preset. So we can say... Date, Custom Text, Sequence, and then we hit Create. Now we will say Done, and if we come to this drop-down box, you will see that we have our new preset in this list. So I'm going to go back to my commercial naming preset, and for this photo right here, this is a photo of the Baptism River, so I want to replace this text, and I want to call it Baptism River. Now I want to set my start number at number one, and I hit OK. So now this photo is named 2018 Baptism River 0001. Okay, I'll go down to the Hollow Rock folder, and I'm going to do the same thing here. But this time I've got two photos in here, so I want to select both of them. Hit F2. And again, it'll come up with our naming dialog. So these photos are both of Hollow Rock, so I'm going to change the name here to Hollow Rock. My start number is 1. I hit OK. Now, Lightroom will automatically name these in sequence. So I have 0001 and 0002. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and go through and, and rename all of these photos, and I'll be back when I'm done. Okay, so I've gone through and I've renamed all of my files. Now, you can choose to include any other metadata field in the renaming process that you want. You don't have to use the naming template that I just showed you. You can make any template that you want to rename your files. I have just found for me, it's easier to find the files that I'm looking for if I rename them in this format. Now, in conclusion, adding metadata to your photos in Lightroom Classic is an essential part of organizing and managing your photo library. Adding metadata such as EXIF and IPTC data provides important information about your photos that can be used to filter and then sort them in various different ways. Renaming photos using metadata and custom naming conventions can further enhance the organization and searchability of your library folder. Now, by following these best practices for adding and editing metadata and renaming your photos in Lightroom Classic, you can create a well-organized and easily searchable photo library that will be a joy to work with for years to come. 
I hope this video has been informative and has provided you with valuable insights into how to add and edit metadata to your photos in Lightroom Classic. Implementing these techniques will not only help you organize your photo library, but it will also make it easier to find specific photos based on your search criteria. With the increasing number of photos we take every day, having a well-organized photo library is essential. By adding metadata and renaming your photos, you can easily find the photos that you need. I encourage you to start implementing these techniques in your photo library today. It may take some time to go back and organize your existing photos, but it will be well worth the effort in the long run. And as you continue to take new photos, make sure to add and edit your metadata right away to make your workflow more efficient. Remember that the more organized your photo library is, the easier it will be to find and share your favorite photos with family and friends. So take advantage of the tools available in Lightroom Classic and start organizing your photo library today. Okay, so that's all I have for you today. In the next video, we are going to be talking about keywording, which is another very valuable and important tool in Lightroom Classic. If you found this video helpful, go ahead and hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and click that bell icon to be notified of any future videos that I upload. Okay, y'all have a good day, and we'll see you in the next one.